Buenas tardes a todos amigos. Guajo si melias en este día. This is que Papa y Tronco Nizok. Don Coluna si tú es maasi para ir tempomo poco. Whether you are a return listener or a new listener, today's podcast will be short, simple, and sweet. Cada da dan claro, if you will. Sa esta ginin gai inatman gai tempo natiu na huhudong on podcast. Sa mamakat i tempo pago, no? Makat or mamakat i tempo pago. It's just a way to say times are hard. There's a lot going on in the world right now, and I would just like to take a second to say that pwediat man mamolikantu. I hope you all are well. I hope your families and your loved ones are all well. I wish you all good health. I hope you are staying safe, and I hope that you are doing well during this difficult time. Bueno, so our really short episode today is how to say the topic, i asuntu pa i tema para i podcast pago, is how to say I'm sorry. Here goes. Dispensa. Dispensa. So dispensa by itself is a shortened version, usually, of dispensato. Zainun song and dispensato. It can be translated into I'm sorry. However, the more literal translation is forgive me. Dispensa zu. So dispensa zu can mean two things, and this is not uncommon in many languages. It we can say I'm sorry, we can say excuse me, they both have relatively similar meanings. Equatlogi experienciaku, I have, this is what I hear most often for I'm sorry or excuse me, my bad, however you want to translate it, this is what I have heard. So we are going to run through the zu type pronouns because you can also use this to ask someone to forgive someone else or to forgive you as a group or to apologize on someone else's behalf. So we're going to run through the du type pronouns. If you are unfamiliar with those pronouns, I will link them in the description. And again, dispensa can be used to mean I'm sorry or excuse me. Here we go. Dispensa zu. Dispensa zu. I'm sorry or forgive me. So this one, this next one is the, it can be literally translated as excuse you. I have personally never heard it being used this way. Lo, if you used it, they would understand what you were saying. Dispensa how? <laughs> Dispensa how? Excuse you or forgive you, forgive yourself, something like that. If anybody has heard that being used or if you use it yourself, put favor, not to let me know, to gi izo. All right, dispensa gui, dispensa gui. He, she, or it is sorry, or please forgive him, her, or it. Moving on to plural subjects, so this one is kind of like dispensa how, right? Uh, so dispensa hit. I, uh. <laughs> Dispensa hit is like, well, excuse us. I may have heard this used a few times, a handful of times in my experience. But uh, so literally, dispensa hit means excuse us or forgive us. This is inclusive. So you are including the person that you are talking to. I'm not saying that people say this very often. I am giving you the little tra literal translation because I'm going through the list of zu type pronouns. Next is dispensa ham. This one is very common. I've heard it many times. Dispensa ham. Excuse us. Or we are sorry. This we is excluding the person that you are talking to. Excluding the listener. Dispensa hamzu is the plural. Uh, hamzu is the plural pronoun. Is a plural pronoun. So it's just like dispensa how. Dispensa hamzu is excuse you all. So again, 
like I said, I'm not saying anybody uses this. Maybe they do. I, I've never really heard it being used that way, but literally that's what it means. Dispensa hamzu. Either you all are sorry or ex- excuse you all, I think would be a better, a better way to say it. Okay, last one. Dispensa siha. Dispensa siha. They are sorry or forgive them. I'm going to go through that list one more time. Again, how hit and hamzu. We don't really say you are sorry, you and I are sorry, or forgive yourself and forgive the two of us or forgive you all. I haven't really heard those. Sigungi tiningohu. I have not really heard the, it being used that way, so I'm going to skip them. If you really want to, you know, poke at your friends by saying, Pues dispensa hao, what dispensa hamzu, the meaning would come across, but I'm just going to go over the others. So, again, dispensa zu, I'm sorry, forgive me. Dispensa gui, he, she, or it is sorry, forgive him, her, or it. Dispensa ham, we are sorry, this is excluding the listener. Dispensa siha, they are sorry, forgive them. And to wrap everything up today, I will also, we'll talk about an imperative, something I heard very often when I was a agagwat, little uh, nanu. When I would do young child things and I needed to ask for forgiveness or when I had to apologize, Sesu ilegnya sinanahu, hanau zanfangagao dispensation. So dispensation is a noun. The komeke ilegnya forgiveness. Fangagao dispensation is an imperative. It means ask for forgiveness. I would often hear hanau go zanfangagao. And ask dispensation for forgiveness. Hano zanfangago dispensation. So there you have it. How to say I am sorry, he, she, or it is sorry, we are sorry, they are sorry. And if you would like to use an imperative form and tell somebody to ask for forgiveness, fangago dispensation or famaisin. Ask fa maisen dispensation. Pasugagago i dispensation mizu. I ask for your forgiveness. Dispensadzo. Excuse me. I'm sorry. My bad. It has been quite a long time, but here we are again with this topic. I wish you all the best. As always, zengin guaha para un sangonizo, zengin malago hao un pati itiningotmo. Pat guaha un hunguk ni ti mamaza zan i experienciamo paritiningotmo. Put favor to gi ito. Write to me if you want to discuss, if you have any comments. Um, put favor. If this was meaningful to you, like, subscribe, share, all those good things. Now is a great time. Ni parata fanfifinut samoru, ni parata famamati, for us to be sharing ifinota zan i kuturata. So as always, situ is maasi dong kululu, na situ is maasi para itempon mizu, ipapa itronkon mizuk, guahusimulia, adios.